All right, so here we are. We're in uh, Tacoa, Georgia. We're in search of Bigfoot. Skunk ape. The locals call him Skunk Ape. Mm -hmm. um, they've actually had a couple of sightings of him, so they're going to take us back um, to the woods back here, and uh, we'll see what we can see. <laughs> I'm having a good feeling about this. I'm not a believer, but we'll find out. Okay, we were just coming down the path with this local boy, and we passed some droppings. What looked to be... <laughs> about two weeks old. So we know that this skunk can't get... I'm sorry, I'm just overtaken by the smell. You have to put your tongue to it to be able to measure the consistency. Are you sure? Yeah, it's pretty oh. much well known fact. I see, I see, I see. I think I'll pass on that. It might work if you just touch your, your fingers to your tongue. <laughs> I think we'll be able to tell. Once we get down to the encounter site, that's when we'll make our skunk ape calls. <laughs> and we'll see if we can bring the skunk ape to us. We've got just a little bit farther down. Local boy one here is going to show us exactly where he encountered it. So let's keep going. Okay. He was drinking out of this creek here. It's rather dirty. Rather. That might be why he smells so bad. Yeah. Okay. That's an odor. I think we're gonna make a couple of calls for him now. Okay. okay. But, do you think he might have just been trying to find out if he could get a closer look at Justin Bieber? No, I, I don't think so. Okay, Nathan, you're gonna make the first call. I'll make the second. Oh, we're making. We're making skunk ape calls. All right, hold on. Okay. Everyone quiet while he makes the call. Skunk Ape. I got a wrong number. It wasn't him. Okay. I'm going to make the first call. Actually, the second call, because the first one we got a wrong number. Okay. So we're here with the eyewitnesses in the woods at their sighting. Boys, can you describe the Sasquatch, or as you guys call it, the Skunk Ape? Can you describe it for us, please? Very big. It smells like poop. Okay, now look at Nathan. Nathan, can you go over by that tree? Can you back up? Yeah, okay. Now imagine he's a Skunk Ape. Now where on the tree would the Skunk Ape be? Uh, according to Nathan, would it be? Raise your hand up, start at your head. Start at the level of your head and raise it up, and when it's at the right height, that's when you tell him to stop. Uh, stop. stop. That's, that's remarkable. He didn't even get his hand all the way up, and they didn't even tell him to stop. So it's beyond the top of his hand. The skunk game is huge. Uh, we're looking at what could be a skunk ape footprint. Um, it looks to be a few days old. Here's some toe markings here. Um, right I'm not really good at tracking. That's um, Jeffrey's department. Oh yeah. But um, it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> so I guess we'll just go this way and see. Local boy find. two, one. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Looks good to you too. In some accounts, people have said that they've heard knocking on trees by the skunk ape. So. We're gonna recreate some of that sound by hitting this piece of tree on that broken piece of tree and hopefully entice the skunk ape toward us. So, here we go. Everyone quiet and see if it knocks back. See if it knocks back at us. Here we go. I'm just gonna start with two knocks and then we'll wait. Here we go. Did you hear that? Dude, what was we just what got was a, we just got a knock. Okay. Okay. So this is getting really this is getting real really fast. Um. Oh, oh, God. Okay, let's go. 